course, yes, we had to think about when we would be able to show the film. And uh, we didn't want to hide the film. We did want to show it at some point, but we didn't know when. But it's not that we had a specific date. Well, it's not that he was constantly thinking about suicide, no, because then he wouldn't have been able to make the film. But if I just imagine that I myself wouldn't have the possibility to work and just have to sit at home, then I'm sure I would start to think about a suicide. Our friendship goes back all the way back to 1979, and I was embarked on my first project. He was a student at the time, and ever since then we've had this friendship. And my, he was my assistant in my first film, and we worked alongside each other. We've been involved in a number of different things, so we know each other from work and on a personal level. One of our friends asked whether Mr. Panahe was still writing, what is he doing all day, and uh, if you can't write, then at least take note of what is happening. And he's not that good of just jotting down different notes, and um, so then it was suggested that he simply pick up his camera and shoot and then archive the material. And that was probably quite fruitful and good for him, positive. German federal government, and this has never happened before, has asked the Iranian government to let Mr. Panahi come to the Berlin F Festival. So who knows? Maybe we're lucky. Thank you.